Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be talking about the liquidity preference and money market equilibrium, which is also known as your LM curve. So what is the LM curve? The LM curve is simply a curve which shows all the equilibrium points in the money market. I'm pretty sure you learned a lot about the money market in the previous video. So we all know that there is equilibrium in the money market when the demand for money meets the supply of money. So when there is equilibrium in the money market, we obtain the equilibrium level of interest rates, income as well as real money circulating in the economy. Okay, let's take a look at this equilibrium in the graph. So this is your supply of money and this is your demand for money. So this gives us the equilibrium at point A where the interest rates levels is at I0. From the previous video, we learned that the supply of money is actually M1, right? So M1 is that slightly broader definition of money, which is public cash plus K times the money multiplier. So as you can see, the money supply is actually independent of interest rates and income. That is why it is a vertical straight line. Let's very quickly look at the dynamics of this money market diagram. So if let's say the real money supply were to increase to M over P1, um, this can be due to maybe an increase in the nominal money supply or a decrease in the general price level, right? So if the interest rates did not change, what you have here is an excess supply of money. So interest rates will have to fall to point B so that the market clears, okay? The market will have a new equilibrium with the interest rates level at I1. Okay, so let's look at the intuition on why this is the case. You see, when interest rates fall, the opportunity cost of holding money falls. All right? We had went through this in the previous video. So when this opportunity cost falls, then the demand for money increases. Okay? And this is the speculative motive of holding money in action here. Uh, basically, people will want to consume more today than in the future because of a lower um, interest rates. So here's a layman explanation of what is going on. If I have to put my money into a place which earns me very little interest, I would prefer to actually take that money out of that place and spend it today instead. Okay, let's move on to the case whereby the real money supply falls, so the entire vertical line will shift to the left. So the real money supply can fall, um, again due to two reasons, right? It's either the nominal money supply has fallen or the general price level has increased. Okay, so if the interest rates did not change, then you have an excess demand for money. As you can see, when the interest rates level is at I0, the demand is more than the supply. So for the money market to clear to a new equilibrium, interest rates will have to rise, which brings us to point C. The equilibrium interest rates is now at I2. So the intuition behind this is that when the interest rates rise, the opportunity cost of holding money rises as well. Therefore, the demand for money is going to fall. And again, this is the speculative motive in play. People would want to consume more in the future than today. So here's a layman explanation for this. If where I'm putting my money in is earning me more interest now, you know, I would really just leave that money there so that it makes me more interest income so that in the future, I can withdraw that and I can spend more. Okay, so that was the basics of the money market equilibrium diagram. So let's take a look at the graphical derivation of the LM curve, which again shows all the equilibrium points in the money market. So obviously you're going to need the money market diagram, um, which is a graph with the nominal interest rates against the real balances. And you're going to use that to derive your LM curve, which will be plotted on a graph with interest rates against GDP, which is the same as the IS curve. So what you need to do is to change the income level to see a change in interest rates. So what you see here is actually the transactionary motive for holding money in play. So what's going to happen is you're going to shift the demand for money when the change in income occurs. Okay, let's take a look at the diagrams to see how this is being derived. So you're actually going to need two sets of graphs as discussed previously. Okay, and... Um, on the left hand side, you're going to have your money demand and then you're going to have your money supply and this graph over here is your money market diagram and the one on the right is going to be your IS. Thanks for watching a sample of the Quickonomics online learning experience. We hope you've enjoyed it. We believe that true happiness lies in realizing ambitions and dreams. That's why we make our products specific to your needs. Simple to understand and captivating. 
so that you can learn effectively while saving time, realizing those ambitions and dreams. The Quickonomics online learning experience is a range of supplementary lectures, tutorials, and exam solutions in the form of videos, which you can conveniently view anytime, anywhere. Watching our videos before and after your regular lessons at school, we aim to give you joy in learning and build academic confidence at the comfort of your own relaxed learning environment. So how can you begin? We welcome you to purchase Quickie Dollars to redeem the videos for full access to the Quickonomics online learning experience. Thank you for starting with Quickonomics.